So this is my grocery haul this week. I spent about $114, as you can see. We got something that Trey's ready to get into, so I gotta make this fast. So let's get into the meal plan. We went to Rouse's and Sam's this week. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. So this is the meal plan this week. I totally forgot to even write the dates on here. Now that I'm out for summer, y'all, I don't even know the days of the week. Y'all know that is how we roll for teachers for summer. Like literally have to look on my phone and say, what's the day of the week? But this week, as you're watching, it'll be on the thumbnail and in the title. And the budget's always 175. However, I was way under budget this week because I'm trying to use up what's in my fridge, freezer and pantry right now before I start, you know, reloading all that stuff because I'm running out of room. So we need to go through what we've already got. So for breakfast this morning. I'm filming this on Memorial Day night. Keto French toast with the great low carb bread. Guys, I highly recommend them and I do purchase that. They don't send me that and it is amazing. I will have them linked always down below. Really, really good. And I will also link the keto French toast recipe that I made on foodie with the exact bread. So delish. Then I tried for the first time chili lime chicken burgers from Trader Joe's. Um, hello, these are amazing. They have such a great like cilantro, lime flavor, very fresh, and they're one net carb for each burger. I will definitely purchase those again. I'm gonna start doing like a monthly or bi-monthly Trader Joe's trip. It's pretty far away from me, but I think it's worth it for some things I can't find locally to me and just make one big trip, you know, ever so often. Then we also had redfish that the hubby actually caught um, a little while back that I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the freezer. And then I made my Olive Garden Alfredo with shrimp as a topping. OMG, so yummy. And then we had a side salad. This was delicious. If he could go fishing every day and catch us redfish, I would eat redfish every day or catfish. It is so amazing, y'all. If y'all have never had catfish and redfish, wherever you live, wherever you go, order it if you've never had it before. Then I have a bunch of French toast. I made a couple of the slices were really thin, so I made a bunch left over. So I'm gonna probably heat that up and eat it because you'll know I don't like to waste, even though I don't really care for leftover French toast. It's probably still gonna taste amazing. And then for lunch, I've got a lot of errands that I'm doing. On Tuesday, I'm gonna be dropping the boys off to school and therapy that day, that one day. Both of them will be out, so I've got a lot I need to catch up on. So I'm probably gonna grab something on the fly. So I will definitely have that on Instagram, whatever I pick up on the go. And then we're either going to have leftovers. I still have sloppy joes from last week, like a ton that we need to eat, or we can make omelets and bacon, just something really quick. Actually, Alani loves to make omelets, so I can have him make that for us if we don't want to eat leftovers. On Wednesday, Dat Keto Lady's breakfast sandwich. This is in her stories on her Instagram. If you have not made that before, it is delicious and so stinking easy, guys. So I have that on the menu twice this week. Chef salad instead of doing the chicken because I don't feel like thawing any out and cooking any, but I do have some in the freezer to do for the next week. But y'all know I love those big, huge salads with avocado and bacon and egg and some turkey, like whatever I have on hand, throw it in there and use her blue cheese dressing. So amazing. Then I'm going to be making biscuits and gravy and eggs from the Southern Keto Cookbook. Guys, this stuff is amazing. If you've never made the biscuits and gravy from that Southern Keto Cookbook, that cookbook's like $20 on Amazon. It's worth it, y'all. It's super worth it. And her e-cookbook is 12 bucks. Like that is the best money you're going to spend. If you're just starting keto, if you're a beginner, I highly recommend y'all buying that e-cookbook and then her Southern Keto Cookbook. I always have them linked down below. They are great for getting started on keto because I know it can be very intimidating seeming like you're eating the same stuff all the time. They definitely switch things up and the recipes are so easy to follow. Then I do have some too good yogurt I need to go ahead and eat up and some fruit already cut up I need to eat up before it goes bad. So I'm gonna have like a little keto parfait on Thursday probably. And then I need to make some tuna fish. I've been meaning to do that. We love having tuna fish pre-keto, keto and have like a tuna fish lunchable on Thursday and then leftovers of biscuits and gravy on Thursday as well. Friday, another Dat Keto Lady breakfast sandwich, another chef salad. Y'all see I like consistency on keto. Like when I find something I really love, I don't mind eating it all of the time. I just switch things up honestly guys for y'all for the meal plan and for the vlogs because I know y'all don't like seeing the same thing all the time and I want to show y'all a variety on keto like what you can do but I like certain things I don't mind eat them all the time and then we're going to go out to eat my birthday is actually on Saturday so I don't know if we're going to go out to eat Friday probably for my birthday probably so but I don't know where we're going to go but we're always going to Texas Roadhouse that's our jam but my birthday is on Saturday and I'll be the big three six yes getting old. 
keto pancakes for breakfast on my birthday. Um, yes, we got to have keto pancakes all day, every day, but especially on my birthday and probably Sunday as well. I love whipping those up. They're so delish and you don't even feel like you're eating anything less than regular pancakes in my opinion with that recipe. Keto Lunchables probably all weekend. And then I am going to be making the keto meatloaf with the cheese stuffed meatloaf. I'll have that in the iCards above with loaded collie mash from Dat Keto Lady and also a side salad and leftovers on Sunday. So for dessert tonight, actually today, I made the coconut flour pound cake finally. I know you're tired of hearing about it with the wedding cake frosting. The wedding cake frosting I've made before for the Dat Keto Lady um, cupcakes before, and it's amazing. However, I messed up on it, but it still came out good. Had a brain fart. But this coconut flour pancake, yes, you're going to hear me say pancake. Pound cake, Lord, get with it, girl. I'm going to say this. I think this coconut flour pound cake is better than the lemon pound cake I share with y'all. And y'all know I love that. And so many of y'all love that one. I think this one is amazing and y'all are going to love it. So that's coming to y'all for a foodie eventually, not this week. Rebel crisis. What the heck's going on at my local Rouse's, which I have a ton of Rouse's by me, but the one that I shop at all the time, they've taken Rebel off the shelf because there is a shortage of it. Apparently that's what my freezer guy told me. He said there's a shortage of it. So they took it off the shelf momentarily until they can get more shipment in. I'm like, oh snap, because y'all know I am obsessed with that stuff. So I'm going to go to some of my other Rouse's around me and see if they've taken it off the shelf. And if they have, this girl's going to have to order it online because I can't live without it now. I'm obsessed. Yes, this is a, this is first world problems right here. First world problems we got going on. So I'll update y'all next week if I found any rebel but right now I have zero in the freezer it is a problem foodie this week slow cooker spicy coconut drumsticks yes guys this recipe is amazing y'all are gonna love it so stay tuned for Friday for that so enough jabbering that is the meal plan let's get into this grocery haul so as y'all can see a small haul so only $114 because I'm keeping things simple this week going coming off of work and not having to go to work just to use up a lot of things we already have on hand and to keep the budget down this week. Next week, it'll probably be a little bit more. But Trey is going to be going to therapy Monday through Thursday, and he's beating on the bottle with his sensory. If you're wondering what the noise is, y'all know if you've been with me for any amount of time, he loves beating on stuff. It's his jam. So these were $2 a piece on sale. I only needed one, but I went ahead and got two because, like I said, he's going to be going to therapy Monday through Thursday, and I have to pack his lunch. So we got the Fruit Punch Wave, and we got the Wild Cherry Waterfall. That's one they don't carry at Walmart so I try to get the different flavors at Rouse's when I'm there. I got a 12 count of eggs. Again, don't come for me. These are not the free range eggs, but I'm going to start getting those at Trader Joe's when I go for my monthly haul. And I have a ton of eggs if you've been watching, but we are eating a ton of eggs this week. So I wanted to make sure I had some on hand nonetheless. I got some flat leaf parsley for a recipe. I got some Minute Maid. This was on sale for $2.99 for the boys. Got Lonnie some sweet grape tomatoes were on sale for two bucks. The blackberries were on sale for either $1.50 or $2. And these look really good. Some of the ones in the past I've been getting look kind of funky so I was happy to see these looked really good because I love blackberries on keto I'm a big advocate for eating berries on keto y'all know I say in my vlogs all the time we're gonna eat the damn berries so I'm eating the damn berries so there they are heavy whipping cream this stuff was hella pricey it was like five dollars they didn't have the 2.99 one that I usually buy but it is organic heavy whipping cream now this is misleading guys because it says zero net carbs but they all have at least 0.5 they just round down or they round up is what I'm hearing from you guys. But it's good, but it was just expensive. Now with the Bang drinks, guys, these are my all-time two favorite flavors. The Cherry Blade Lemonade is so good, and that Pina Colada one, if you haven't tried it, give it a try. And these are $2 a piece at my local Rouse's. At Walmart, they only carry like four flavors. They do not carry these, so they have more variety at my local store. So I got those, I love those. Y'all know I'm a big advocate for the Bang drinks. They don't give me any jittery vibes with energy drinks. I know some of y'all said that they do, but that's if you're a non-caffeine drinker, so just keep that in mind. I got some more extra creamy ready whip and this is for our keto pancakes. Y'all been, he's not gonna drink that. Y'all have been asking me as far as the carbs on this. There's one carb for two tablespoons, so that's not bad and I do treat myself with having that on our keto pancakes. Now the Kraft cheese was on sale for $2. Y'all know I like shredding mine off the block. It doesn't have the potato starch in it like the bag cheese does. So those are called creepy carbs in the bagged cheese. So I like to get this and shred it myself. So I went ahead and got three because we're totally out of cheese. I've had cheese forever and now we're totally out. So I went ahead and got three of the extra sharp cheddar for snacking, for recipes, and for shredding. Then I also went ahead and got two pounds, actually over two pounds, of the white American cheese. Y'all know I buy this for Trace Keto Queso, 
but I actually got two because I'm going to make one for us here at the house, not just for Trey, for um, when you're watching this yesterday, Memorial Day for snacking with pork rinds and stuff or to go over anything if I want to do taco bowls this week. So I thought it would be good to treat us too because usually we just let Trey have all the glory with the keto queso. So I got two pounds and as you can see it is pricey at my local store it's $5.99 a pound but it is so worth it I will link it in the iCards above if you have not tried it then I got some Shiseisi smoked turkey breast it's actually the turkey not the ham this time I had the ham debacle last time but $3.50 for a little bit for lunches Back here, I got two of the green chilies for the keto queso. This Craft Real mayonnaise was on sale for $2, and there was a coupon attached to it that was actually expired, but they still gave me the dollar off, which was nice. So that was a dollar for that big thing of 30 ounce of mayonnaise. Now, yes, this isn't the best for keto because it has the different type of oil you don't want, but until I can find one that's reasonably priced for avocado mayonnaise, I'm going to stick with this, you know, do what you got to do. I was out of Worcestershire sauce and my blue cheese dressing from Dat Keto Lady calls for this and I had bought a bunch of this from couponing way back when and finally ran out of it, so had to buy some of that. Now, this is definitely not keto, but I did treat the boys to something for Memorial Day and they had Memorial Day cupcakes in the front. We had a hard time finding them, but but we picked these out and Waylon and Trey both love and as look at his hand he is he's like okay we got to it mom we got to the cupcakes now shut up and give me a cupcake because I've been so patient they picked out these Batman cupcakes so I'm gonna give him one actually right now all right so we got one happy boy cupcakes done so $2.99 was a pretty good deal for a six count of cupcakes and they're super cute with the Batman and of course he would pick the blue that's a hot mess but it is what it is chopped onions y'all know I love having this guys I do not even chop onions anymore I've gotten rid of doing it it makes me cry it's a hot mess nobody wants that in their life so we got some of the frozen kind love getting these I got some cut cauliflower for cauli loaded cauliflower we love that from Dat Keto ladies e-cookbook so so good and then I got some Louisiana wild caught shrimp because I'm going to be making my olive garden alfredo as a topping for some redfish for Memorial Day that's definitely in the meal plan you've already seen it so we are going to be loving that and I won't need this whole bag so I'll probably just use like half a bag and then also guys y'all know every time I go to Rouse's when they have their ribs on sale for 99 cents this is 5.77 for this entire thing of ribs I love putting these in the crock pot with like a cherry cola zevia and then put some G Hughes barbecue sauce on it afterwards. So good and such a great deal and you can eat on this forever. So I love picking them up when they're on sale. So this is not on the meal plan this week but it will definitely be in the freezer and on a future meal plan. So that's everything I got from Rouse's. It was like $74 and I think it was $74 with tax. So I didn't get much at Sam's. I got some of the Taylor Farms organic baby spring mix. This is under $4. Y'all know we love that for my salads and for salads on the side. Since Trey is gonna be going to school, I still need to have something quick for him to go to lunch. So he loves these Lunchables with the pizza, the pizza Lunchables with the pepperoni and the cheese. And y'all know, I know this isn't the best for him, but like I've mentioned, every grocery haul with his autism and his sensory, it's just a blessing that he's eating meat and this kind of stuff in general. So we will get him on a better track later, but we're just so happy he's eating this versus just chips. I mean, that's what the boy was living on. It's crazy. And then I got some avocados. I don't like getting them from Sam's because look how brown and like squishy they are already. Uh, so I have to like eat these in a day and a half. But I went ahead and got them because they were a good deal versus my local grocery store. And you get five in there for a pretty decent deal. It was like, I want to say it was like five dollars. Trey's wanting a Lunchable now too. Eat your cupcake first. And then we got some bang buy drinks. I was going to say bang drinks. I wish they sold them at Sam's. Some buy drinks. These were a better deal than Target that I posted on my Insta story for y'all because I did not go when they still had the Ibotta rebate. That Ibotta rebate was expired. So these have a $4 instant savings. So this came out to be like a dollar and five cents a buy drink, which is really decent. It was better, what I'm trying to say, than doing the non-Ibotta deal, which mine expired on me. So this is a pretty good deal. That $4 off on all their buy cases at Sam's is good up until the end of June or July, I think. So that was a pretty good deal. And we like to have those in the fridge to drink on in the evenings. It's two carbs for the entire bottle, so that's not bad, and one gram of sugar. So that's everything I got, guys, for about $115 this week. Y'all give this video a thumbs up if you look forward to these weekly grocery hauls and meal plans from us. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. What are you guys waiting for? Hit it, smash it, get that notification bell going on so every time I upload keto friendly recipes and meal plans and grocery items you can be notified when they are uploaded love you guys so much i hope you had a great memorial day yesterday and you have an awesome week coming up ahead and we'll see y'all in my next video bye guys